a month after Russia launched its large-scale invasion of Ukraine last year. Vladislav Lysenko investigated damage to the egg warehouse outside of Kiev. Russian soldiers had occupied the building for weeks and destroyed most of its stockpiles. His dream was always to open a restaurant. So he came up with a plan after meeting Ukrainian master chef finalist Ivan Kozier while volunteering to help IDPs. Lysenko told CBS News in a phone interview I said I wanted to open something new and Ivan was like, you're crazy. Are you open to war? But I decided to go for it. In a photo Lysenko shared on social media, Vladislav Lysenko and business partner and chef Ivan Kozier stand front of their restaurant Svetlo Cafe in Dnipro central Ukraine. Vladislav Lysenko in May. They opened Svetlo Cafe, a modern Ukrainian restaurant located in basement of a historic building away from the road in city of Dnipro. But getting a restaurant up and running in wartime is fraught with unique challenges. There are curfews, staff shortages, logistical barriers to shipping products across the country, and a dramatically changing digital landscape. Lysenko tried to save the restaurant on Google Maps but was told that because of the war, no new business would be added anywhere in his country. Google reduces war defense A Google spokesperson told CBS News due to rise of off-topic content about the war in Ukraine on Google Maps over past year. We have implemented additional protections to prevent content that violates our policies. In days after Russia's invasion, the Ukrainian parliament published a petition social media calling on Google to restrict map application, alleging that tags Google Maps were used by Russian terrorists to set ing locations. Ukrainians have voiced their suspicions online that users are marking operationally sensitive locations such as checkpoints or military training grounds, making them targets for a Russian attack. In response, Google temporarily suspended user contributions such as photos, videos, reviews and new businesses on Google Maps. But a Google spokesperson told CBS News that the tech giant last week removed these protections for most regions in Ukraine, allowing users like Lysenko to flag their locations, list their businesses, link to websites and share reviews. It's really hard to operate these days and we're still not profitable. Lysenko said. But people couldn't find us. Which means a lot. People check everything on Google Maps. I use it every day. Absolutely necessary for a new business. It doesn't matter which one you have. Businesses need reviews to get better Roman Batarenko. Co-owner of Nona Makarona restaurant in the western Ukrainian city of Chernivtsi faced same obstacle. After dreaming of opening a restaurant for years, he implemented this plan in 2020. It initially suspended its work due coronavirus outbreak. But then Russia launched offensive, causing Batarenko his business partner to delay opening day and focus.